It began with a few rumours and claims, some involving the rich and powerful. Claims which have never seen the light of day. Claims which never made it to court. Maybe the evidence wasn't there, but we do now know dozens of the files have gone missing. It's prompted allegations of a cover-up, and then this statement today by the Home Secretary. Our priority must be the prosecution of the people behind these disgusting crimes. That wherever possible and consistent with the need to prosecute, we will adopt a presumption of maximum transparency. And that where there has been a failure to protect children from abuse, we will expose it and we will learn from it. The claims date back 30 years when the late Tory MP Geoffrey Dickens made allegations of a powerful paedophile network. He gave his dossier to the then Home Secretary Leon Britton. Lord Britton today issued a statement refuting claims he hadn't adequately dealt with the allegations. He says the Director of Public Prosecutions passed two of the cases on to the police. The dossier may have included allegations about the late Liberal MP Sir Cyril Smith. Numerous claims have been made about him since his death four years ago. Last year, a Home Office review of all relevant files found 527 had been kept, but 114 were missing or had been destroyed. This is the old Home Office building. The Prime Minister says if there was a cover-up here, they will expose it. I'm absolutely determined that we're going to get to the bottom of these allegations and we're going to leave no stone unturned to find out the truth about what happened. The opposition welcomes the inquiry with some reservations. It must also be able to take evidence from the public and in public, as the Hillsborough Review was able to do. I welcome her comments on that and also her decision to keep under review whether it has the powers it needs and whether a public inquiry would be needed. It's not good enough for some. The former head of the Child Exploitation and Online Protection Centre wants the police to take over now. Some people didn't listen and they didn't listen because they didn't want to believe it or, or, or they didn't think it was credible. What we have now is a situation where at the heart of government 114 documents have gone missing. That can't be dealt with by an internal review. Historic allegations is the phrase we hear all the time these days. Many are locked away but not all of them, not forever.